hi you guys welcome back to my garden in today's video i'm going to be doing a ton of planting i'm going to start off with planting two beautiful containers now if you're new to my channel i love 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 to plant containers especially beautiful floral containers for the summertime the springtime winter time fall you name it i love to do containers so i'm going to go ahead and get started now the two containers that i'm going to be planting up is over here near the lion fountain guys now these containers are pretty big and they can swallow up quite a few plants but i will say that i maybe am going to use only one to two annuals in these planters. These are the planters that flank this wall over here that I'm going to be planting up. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, it is a little windy outside. It is supposed to rain. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done in today's video. But I definitely want to get these containers done for sure. So let's start planting. So we have a heirloom rose, a hybrid tea, Rosa Jack Bloom, came in with a Jaguar Deep Orange Monrovia Gerber Daisy. Now, I had Gerber Daisies in my garden last year. They can take the brutal cold, the snow, and everything. I came in with a Monrovia Super Trooper Orange Dianthus. This is a perennial. Of course, the rose is a perennial. And then we also came in and added some beautiful ranunculus. I have a beautiful show of all different shades of orange and raspberry. So let's call this container Raspberry Orange. And our tulips is given our cream. So I'm really loving this. A color combination and I wanted the container to be something that was going to contrast the tulips very beautifully I didn't want anything to drape because I wanted the age detail of the terracotta pot to actually show through now if we get in closer and we look at the terracotta pots for a second let's go over to the other one because it's more exposed and we can see that better All right, so if you see around the base of this, now I've had these pots for 10 years or maybe even 11 years, but this is what happens to your terracotta when you keep them outside. 
so eventually I am going to have to replace these I think this year and these roses are going to open up a lot fuller than this but as you can see we have a lot of blooms that's on these roses and just ready to burst open and pop and then if we get in closer and we look at our Gerber daisies and then I came in and repeated the tangerine pansies Alright, so I got both of these containers planted and sorry about the wind. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get this hydrangea in because it seems like it's getting ready to rain. So let's go ahead, get the area prepped up real quick and drop the proven winners and credible hydrangea in the ground. All right, so that looks much better. As you can see, all of the Incredibles have growth on them. This is the one we just added, and then we got the one over there. Now, these ones over here, they get more sun, so they're further along. I wanna make a quick note about the Incredible Hydrangea. So notice how the Incredible Hydrangea is not in bloom yet. A lot of garden centers do have hydrangeas that are in bloom, but I wanted a hydrangea that was going to break dormancy with the rest of my Incredible Hydrangeas so I can have a cohesive look and look like they went through the winter without being unscathed by the fluctuating temperatures that we have in the St. Louis region. I only did starter fertilizer, biotone fertilizer, I did not use any type of rose tone, and I went ahead covered the mulch back over the area and watered her in. So it looks like it's getting ready to rain you guys. So I won't have time to get a little bit more planting done. I wish I had more time, but I just don't. And let me know, have you started planting up any containers in your garden or have you started doing any in-ground planting as well? Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.